Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video by Electronic Elation. We're going to be working with Adobe Photoshop today, so while I run on my mouth for a few seconds, go ahead and open up Adobe, Adobe Photoshop. Um, this video is going to focus on how to make an image have a transparent background. Um, there's a lot of tutorial videos out there, but a lot of them are very clear, um, so I'm going to try to make this one clear. Alright, so uh, we're going to be opening up whatever image you want to have a transparent background. That's a good one. Um, oh, look at that, a duck. Wonderful. Okay, so you got your duck, in this case, open, and you want to make this white background go away and be transparent so that you can, say, place it over another graphic and have the graphic showing through in the white area and not for that ugly white box to be there. So what you would do is right click on your layers palette. Now don't go ahead and do it. I'm gonna tell you something different. But you would right click and you would go to duplicate layer. I'm not gonna do that right now because I need to clear up some confusion that I see a lot. This happens to be, this image happens to be a .jpg, JPEG image. What would happen if I would go to file open and I happen to select an image that was mm, Let's see, let's look at one. Uh, here you go. This one's a GIF, a GIF. If I were to select a GIF image, okay, now I would try to do the exact same thing, right click on my layers palette and go to duplicate layer, but I can't do that. If the image that you want to have uh, or make a transparent background for, if you right click and there is no duplicate layer option, don't freak out, don't worry. All you have to do is go to file and is a, there's a difference in Adobe Photoshop different kinds of Adobe Photoshop's. I'm using CS4 today, CS3 and below and Photoshop 7.0, all those, there's differences but go to save as and you need to find .jpg and save it as a JPG. I don't have that. If you have it, that's great, just click save as and save it. I'm gonna need to go to save for web and devices and click right here and select JPEG go to save and just for fun I'm going to save it to the desktop okay now since I want to work with that JPG image instead of this GIF image I'll just go ahead and exit out don't need it now I'm going to go to the desktop or wherever you just previously saved that image drag it in or go to file open and do the same method now that I've made it a JPG image of course you don't have to do those steps if your image was already a JPEG. Go to right click on the layers palette and click duplicate layer. It doesn't matter what it's called there, just click OK. Now the reason for duplicating a layer is because you want your original background, the original picture, gone. So go up and click right click first, then left click on delete layer. Yes, you want it gone. And now all you have left is this background copy. All right, um, you're going to need to go to your eraser tool. Now left click it, it should probably for you guys probably be on just eraser. Left click it and go to background eraser. Okay, now um, for this next part, um, you're going to be using the brackets on your keyboard. The brackets are what look like uh, parentheses, but yet they're basically half of a square. That is what makes this tool, this background eraser tool, get smaller and bigger. If you click the right bracket, it makes it bigger. Left bracket, it makes it smaller. Also, if you use your le your uh, mouse wheel, if you do the mouse wheel up and down, it actually makes the graphic that you're working on bigger. Mine's not working, and that's a common thing that happens. If that happens to you, just simply click and hold the Alt button, and while holding it, click the mouse wheel up or down, and it kind of trips Adobe Photoshop into do what you, doing what you want for it. Um, but anyway, I'm, go, I'm touching the brackets right now to resize my tool. And you're just going to come in here. And what this represents, this background eraser tool represents, is see the plus sign in the middle of this big circle? The plus sign, whatever color is touching that plus sign, is what, when you click, represents, okay, to to Adobe Photoshop, okay, whatever's touching that plus sign, I need to remove that same color. 
So uh, if you see me, by the way, going in and resizing the tool, I'm using the brackets, so just know that. Come in and keep clicking wherever the plus sign is. If, you, if, you, if I were to click on, say, the yellow, it would take out the yellow. By the way, I'm just clicking Control alt z right here to step back. If you, if you ever see me do that, I'm just stepping back by using that method. But come in and keep clicking on the white areas to remove your background. Go around the image and do that for yourself real quick. And I'm going to do that. Okay. Now it looks like I am done at this point. But if I were to save this, it would actually save with there are there's going to be some pixels around here that even though you got rid of the main white part, it will have left some what I like to call dirty pixels around the outside of the image. To clear up those and make sure they're all gone so you just see this nice little smiley face here and it looks all clean cut, um, go to your eraser tool again and go from background image to the actually just the eraser. And be careful when you do this because if you make a mistake it will go all the way through. I'm pressing Control Alt, Alt Z just to step backward and use your brackets on your keyboard to resize it and go around the edges and try to get as close as you can see how it's kind of taken off the top of my smiley there if that happens it's okay do control alt z step backward but go around the edges without doing that and try to just clean up any pixels that might be around the edge of the photo and try to go ahead and release your mouse button and keep going every once in a while because if you do the entire image with your mouse held down and you happen to mess up at the very end then you just cost yourself that work so remember to let go of the mouse button every once in a while come in and even if you can't see visually the pixels going away it is making a difference and it will make a difference in how clean cut your image looks alright and when you're done you can save the file yes but if you want to save it and for your picture to maintain and keep the transparent background that we just worked to get, you have to do it in a very specific way. If you go to Save As and just choose some format and save it, Photoshop actually colors back in the background to white. What you want to do to make sure that it has the transparent background is Save for Web. Click Save for Web go to this option and choose PNG-24 now make sure that you click the transparency option watch the white background when I click see now it's actually transparent if you do all of this and you forget to click transparency it's still gonna save with the white background they love doing that to you so click the transparency background click save save it wherever you would prefer how about my desktop and it's done Simple as that. Now, to show that how it looks afterwards, uh, let me see here. Let me go into here. I'll get a graphic and show you what it looks like um, after I'm done with this. Something nice and black. Oh, sure, why not? Okay. Now I'm going to go to the image that I just created, which is on the desktop. There it is. and show you what it looks like if I were to say drag it onto this picture see there it is nothing around the edges and there's your finished product alright guys hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial by electronic elation on image transparency hope it helps you take it easy